I'm Jake, you're watching Gas Guzzlers, and this is the Chevy Silverado ZR2 Bison Edition. Let's get into it. But first, a shout out to Cooch Chevy Buick GMC of Clarksville. They have a ridiculous amount of trucks here, as you can see, especially my main man, Moose. Check him out on TikTok at Moose the Car Cowboy. If you need a new Chevy Buick GMC, come check them out. This is a long distance. Now this truck is in AEV edition. And what does that mean? Well, AEV stands for American Expeditionary Vehicles. They're a well-known group of overland and off-road parts suppliers and General Motors has teamed up with them to offer their parts on General Motors trucks from the factory. So that's awesome. You don't need to spend time putting the parts on yourself. They come already on the vehicle. Now you can get these parts on the Sierra 1500 from GMC as part of the roughly $6,000 AEV package on the AT4X off-road kind of focused vehicle, or you can get the same AEV parts here on the Silverado as part of the ZR2 Bison package for about $7,895. At the front of the ZR2 Bison AEV, we got a sharp looking vehicle here, folks, but we find our first AEV part right here with that steel bumper. Underneath that steel bumper, you're going to find AEV boron skid plates. Now, boron is not just a marketing term. Those boron skid plates are three and a half times stronger than normal cold stamped steel skid plates. Say that five times real fast. It's real difficult, folks. Um, in terms of design, we've got these great signature LED lights and this special grill right here. Now, of course, the Chevy Silverado was a bit controversial when it got this redesign. I think that if they take some of the styling cues from the Canyon, toss it on here, they're going have a real sharp looking vehicle. Now I want to go back to the bumper because this bumper redesign, it's not just to look pretty, it has some functional elements to it. For example, it increases the approach angle to 32 and a half degrees. Combine that with 11.2 inches of ground clearance and you're going to be going places. Here at the side of the Silverado ZR2 Bison, we got some mean looking 18 inch wheels here. Those are wrapped in 33 inch Goodyear all-terrain tires. Now, I really like that the AT4X, the GMC version of this vehicle, has laser engraving on the wheels. I think that looks real sharp. And I think they should offer that here on the Chevy version as well. But I get it, you gotta have something for people to upgrade to. We have this rocker panel right here. This is a part of that AEV edition package. It's gonna protect the vehicle when you're off-roading. And when you're not off-roading, you can bolt a step onto there so it's easier to get in and out of the vehicle. Something else helping the off-road performance. How about the DSSV shocks back you're going to find back there? Those are going to help dampen the vehicle as you're going at high speeds, especially when you do have to slow down because you're off-road and in a low traction environment. This vehicle does have front and rear locking differentials. That means that you can lock the wheels on one axle together so they spin at the same rate. That's helpful in getting out of low traction situations. Something else that's going to help you in pretty much all off-road situations. How about the two inch factory lift on this vehicle. The GMC Sierra 1500 is also going to have these same features if you go for the AT4 slash AT4X. Here at the rear of the Silverado, we have our multi-pro tailgate. This is a $445 option, but it's a pretty fun little option. For those of you who don't know, you have a little baby tailgate back here, and then you have the big tailgate. Now, something that's interesting about this is General Motors heard from their customers. They said, hey, um, we don't like this baby tailgate because it comes down and it hits all of our trailering connections down here. General Motors said, we got you covered. If you press and hold this top button for three seconds, it will disable the tiny tailgate, and that way you won't access release it and hit your trailer and connections. Good thinking there, General Motors. Now, if we drop this, we drop the main tailgate first, then we reach under and drop the baby tailgate. We can pull this out and it becomes a step. Now, this is actually not my preferred use of this rear area. I think the better way of using this is getting some speakers in here. You can take out these little panels and put in a speaker. It's about a $900 accessory. And then you have the ultimate tailgating machine. If you're liking the video, make sure to like and subscribe to Gas Guzzlers for more weekly automotive content. All right, folks, let's get back into it. Now, if I get up in here, we will find quite a plethora of things. Of course, we have our power outlet down here, and then we have our spray and bed liner already installed. There are LED bed lights back here and 12 cargo tie downs. We'll also find two cameras. One of these is gonna be your rear view mirror, and the other one is just a bed camera. Keep an eye back here and make sure things are going all right. Now, if I jump out, I just wanna let you know, 1380 uh, pounds of capacity back here with the diesel engine. If you go for the 6.2 liter V8, you're gonna have about 1350 pounds of payload capacity. So let's close this guy back up right here. 
want to point out AEV bumper back here with these recovery hooks. Now, of course, since this is the ZR2 Bison AEV edition, we have the upgrade 6.2 liter V8 gasoline motor. And that's going to be putting out around 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque. Gas mileage isn't going to be as good as the diesel. You're going to be getting around 14 miles a gallon in the city, around 17 on the highway. The Silverado comes equipped with Chevy Safety Assist. That's going to come with all the normal safety features like a following indicator and you're going to get auto emergency braking, pedestrian detection, lane keep assist, all those good features. But what's really interesting is if you go for this vehicle's big brother, the Sierra, and you go for its very top kind of trim with the De uh, Denali, you're going to be able to get Super Cruise, which is the hands-free driving system that General Motors offers on pre-scan roads throughout the United States. About 200,000 miles of road, you can drive completely hands free on now here's the thing you get super cruise for three years after that it's going to be a 25 a month subscription all right we're going to talk interior but first a little tough love for general motors look guys i appreciate this little yellow accent stitching you're doing around the place here but i want my kalahari interior for those of you that don't know general motors makes this beautiful peanut butter colored interior and they put on some of their vehicles but not others and they don't have it uh, on the pickup trucks. I mean, at least put it on the Sierra AT4X off-road AEV version, but no, all we can get is the black interiors. Now, on the Sierras, on the off-road versions, you can get Kalahari accents, but here in the Silverado, we're stuck with this yellow accent, which looks fine, but I don't know, guys. Come on. I, I'm a YouTube journalist with 3,000 subscribers. Doesn't my opinion mean anything to you? Jokes aside, this is a pretty solid interior. I really like the horizontal layout of everything. It feels easy to access everything in here and everything just looks really sharp. Ford and GM pickup trucks used to leave so much to be desired. And you know, this is an $86,000 truck. It would be ridiculous to have a not nice interior in here, but I'm glad they put a little effort into designing this interior. It's a big step up from the previous kind of pre-refresh version of these trucks. Ram has them beat in terms of materials. Some of these materials feel a little bit abrasive, a little bit cheap. Uh, but in terms of the actual visual, visual aesthetic of this interior, uh, I really have high praise for it. Now I want to tell you about the seats real quick. Of course they are power adjustable, heated and cooled, and they have memory function. One difference between this and the Sierra is that the Sierra AT4 X AEV is going to have massaging seats it's also gonna have a suede headliner. You will not find either of those in the ZR2 Bison with the AEV features. The rear of the truck is standard pickup truck affair. Gobs of leg room, plenty of room to fit three large guys across here in the back. Very nice indeed. And of course we have our center pullout right here. We got our cup holders in there. And because this is a General Motors vehicle, we have the secret cubbies here in the seat, which are absolutely wonderful. And no one will know they're there unless they've watched this review or just about any review of this show. Chevy Silverado on the internet. Very handy little storage space. We have heated rear outboard seats. We have vents back here and of course USB-C chargers and additional cup holders up here to store all of your big gulps. And one thing that lets in a little bit of light in this otherwise dark interior, how about this sunroof up here? Nice to see that. Since this is a pickup truck, we do have our magical interior storage space. You just pull up on the seat like that and you can put in long interior items. All right, let's talk infotainment and what's going on there. First of all, we have our camera display here. So if you have something blocking your rear window, there's a little camera that we saw back there in the bed. That camera streams to your mirror here live. That's part of the $1,970 technology technology package. That package is also going to give you the very impressive 15 inch heads up display. And it's also going to give you adaptive cruise. I don't think adaptive cruise should be a package for a truck this expensive, but oh well. Looking down, let's take a look at your airplane switches. Love to see the airplane switches here. Inspired, you know, it came from the Mustang. Mustang started doing this, then all the brands started using airplane switches. That combined with the shifter that makes you feel like it's an airplane throttle. This is just a cool interior. I feel like I'm ready for takeoff. Your infotainment system here is standard GM affair. Of course, they made big news by integrating Google straight in. So if you go to your maps, you will see it is just Google Maps. This is not some automaker proprietary not very good map it's actually just have it has google maps and google assistant built right in of course we have a trailering button right here so you can add a new trailer and tell the truck all about it to optimize performance and all of your safety features as well and if we go back to our home menu knit here i will show you our cameras uh, so you just swipe over here, hit cameras, and this truck has a pretty impressive suite of cameras. General Motors has always had one. You can see there's our rear right there. We can look in the bed of the truck. If 
I, if this works right there, you can see in the bed of the truck, if you're hooking up a fifth wheel or something like that, that's gonna be real useful. You can see your tires right there. Make sure you don't curb up those nice 18 inch wheels. If you're connecting a trailer, you have that view right there. And of course, uh, you can turn on all sorts of guidance. There's your hitch view right there. And we have a 360 view, or we should have a 360 view. Yes, that is right there on the left. Overall, a real impressive camera suite. All right, let's take a look at your driver's area. The GM steering wheel still uses cheap feeling leather in their trucks. I don't know why it doesn't feel very nice. Never been a fan of that. But we have these buttons right here, which allow us to control your gauge cluster, which is fully digital. You can see right here, you have main menus at the top that you can kind of scroll through, like your directions, your music, etc. But then when you go information, you can scroll through and see all the specifics. So I'll show you the menus that you have available here. It would be cool if we got a few more kind of off-roady features here in the center display. But overall, it's definitely useful. Most people will probably just keep the speed right there. And then I'm gonna pan up here. Let's see if we can get our heads up display here. General Motors has always been big on heads up displays. You know, they were ahead of the game with the Corvette introducing that feature and it continues here. We have a gigantic 15 inch heads up display. Right now it is showing our speed, the speed limit, and it shows what the safety sensors around the vehicle are seeing. I quite like this Silverado ZR2 Bison Edition. I can't wait to get one out on the road later this year, but I hope you enjoyed this first little walk around. It's got some serious off-road kit. That AEV package gives you some extra protection on your investment, and the interior is nice enough for everyday tasks. Really like this vehicle. We will see how it does out on the road later this year or maybe early next year. So be sure to like and subscribe so that you see that in the future. A big thanks to Chevy Buick GMC of Clarksville, especially our man Moose. Check him out at Moose the Car cowboy on tiktok it will all be linked down below guys i'm jake you're watching gas guzzlers take care